Eric Ten Hag has held his news conference in the past hour and Melissa Reddy was there for us. Afternoon, Melissa. We're still waiting for confirmation of the Manuel Ugarte deal. Any concern there? None whatsoever. Manchester United's priority transfer target in midfield. He completed his medical yesterday. He's agreed his long-term deal. And the expectation is that Manuel Ugarte will get announced today, along with Scott McTominay's move to Napoli. Now, if you think about this transfer saga and the window in itself, United have needed one out to get one in. So it does stand to reason that both of those deals need to be fully finalized before they can confirm either. Now, Eric Ten Hag's been speaking about both players and he's given us a lot of detail. He explained the reasoning behind going for Ugarte, the fact that the club have had three number 10s, but only one holding midfielder. They needed depth in that position, so it makes sense. He also told us he had mixed emotions when he saw that clip of McTominay being so warmly welcomed by Napoli fans at the airport in Naples yesterday because he actually didn't want to lose him. He would prefer to still have McTominay around because he is so representative of Manchester United and he was so important for the team. So Ten Hag told us himself not to worry because he is expecting both deals to be confirmed before the deadline. We've been waiting for news on Scott McTominay and Manuel Ugarte for a couple of days now. I know there's not been any official announcement, but can you update anything yet? It looks like you know you know everything. So, <laughs> yeah. So Simon, I can't tell you more than you already know, and so it's not completed yet. Um, but the deadline closes at 11 o'clock, so presumably I know. you expect it to be completed. Yes, we expect it, but I can't confirm it by now. Ten Hag expecting McTominay's exit to be confirmed, but what about Jaden Sancho? When he was asked about him, he said, he's part of our squad, we're happy with him, we need depth, we need options. When pressed a little further and asked if he expected Sancho to stay beyond the deadline of the transfer window, he said that's as far as he knows, yes. However, we do know Chelsea are pushing very hard to try and get a deal done for Sancho, ideally permanently, but potentially on a loan basis given time is running out. Juventus, they were interested, but they withdrew from the running for him because they know Chelsea is his preference. Could things still switch there? It would take a lot for that to happen. But I think ultimately what Ten Hag was trying to do was preparing for the scenario where if Sancho does stay, showing that United won't be too perturbed by that. But Chelsea pushing very hard. They've got a lot of conundrums to solve, needing to get players like Raheem Sterling and Ben Chilwell out before they can try and get Sancho in. Okay, Melissa, thank you very much for now.